Hey, I'm here with uh, Ben. Well, Ben's not here. I'm in Honolulu at Hawaiian South Shore, and then uh, Ben's over in uh, UK at his uh, factory over there. Today, I wanted to talk about the OVA, um, and uh, it's a pretty cool-looking fun board. If you can tell me a little bit about uh, what inspired you to make this board, and what did you want to accomplish uh, when people surf it, and how they want it, what kind of ways that they uh, want to uh, surf it in, what level? Well, I think you said it really. Uh, you know, it's ultimately it's a fun board. This this egg design that we've all kind of fell in love with, traditionally, is like the reason we all love it is because it's fun, paddles easy. So, you know, always we've been making this board for sort of three or four years and fine tuning it. And um, I just really wanted to make something that is ultimately fun, catches a lot of waves, but has the element of performance when you want it. Um, the mix up with the quad and, and so the four, four fins and box is that as soon as the, the waves become hollow or, or more powerful then the quad, you stick that in, it becomes another board altogether. And um, I love the fact that, I have it in my van and no matter what I can pretty much go surfing. So it's, um, it's kind of, yeah, it's been in my life for quite a few years now and it's, it's nice to finally be able to share it with people around the world and hopefully they have as much fun as I do on it. Uh, so you, you guys uh, made it in the, uh, of course, first in the fiberglass uh, material and then you went into the Thunderbolt technology. Um, yeah. What do you think people would feel the biggest difference from a fiberglass and a Thunderbolt? Well, obviously, you know, um, for me, Thunderbolt is is the ultimate construction for for longboards and mid length construction specifically, um, and you know these mid lengths is is no different. And um, in the same experience we've had in the longboards, you know, making a great design in PU is is ultimately the goal. Um, and then to put it into Thunderbolt and get another feeling altogether from it is is pretty special. So, you know, the fact that um, it just feels um, just feels like magic. It's amazing, and and uh, I'm I'm really stoked on it. So the um, bottom contours. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it, and then also the rails uh, towards the front and the back? Yeah. So we've got like quite a hull esque kind of front, um, really like kind of high apex rail through the nose, um, which allows that really forgiving soft rail. Um, paddling is super easy through through catching waves is no, absolutely no problem runs through to a spiral v coming through the tail so like a uh, double concave inside of running through the tail which is um one of my favorite sort of bottom shapes i've used it a lot through my longboard designs and um for me it, yeah it feels it feels really flow like lots of flow forgiveness um from the front end but with that nice hard tucked edge that comes around the rail, it's, it's super responsive and performancey at the same time. So it's, um, I kind of feel like I can surf this board any, any sort of way I, I like and can definitely throw some big turns, but also just cruise and high lines and speed and flow is kind of its element. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and the fact that, you know, surfing it in heavier waves as well is, is a bonus that, I love surfing big boards in, in hollow waves, always have done. And the extra paddle power that you get and being able to get under the ledge in, on waves you might not be able to on a smaller board um, allows it to like, yeah, enter those waves really easily. And then that forgiving rail up the front when you're in the barrel, it's, it's so nice and forgiving and easy. That's the way I'd describe it. Yeah. <laughs> so the guys that are um, transitioning from long board to, sh uh, to a shorter board, um, that are kind of like uh, intermediate um, guys could probably uh, surf this for sure. And then the guys that are experts will be able to take it out and surf it in some pretty good sized country waves. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, it's 22 wide and, and two and seven eights in the seven O and, and 47 liters. So it's plenty of board there, um, but nice and refined through the rail. So, you know, I feel that it does kind of cover a lot of people on that basis. It's got a nice wide plan shape around the chest area. So it's nice and easy to paddle and catch waves, but also it's quite duck diverable as well because of the low rail. So it's, um, people are finding it quite easy to handle and 
but without losing um, that paddle power that you would have from your longboard or or your longboard. Board, did so. you guys make it more um, like on the lighter side or more like um, uh, kind of more on the longboard side? Um, um, which one did you guys choose with the Thunderbolt technology? Well, we chose to make this in red because it's the most balanced kind of out of the, the constructions that we make. It's the one in the middle. Um, it really suits this mid-length kind of um, egg design. You know, it really does suit it. And that, that's been our preferred technology in this design. So that's why we decided to go with that. Um, I think the red is, is, you know, black is definitely the lightest construction that we make, but in, in these mid-length boards, the flow and glide definitely helps with a little bit more weight. So the red technology for me is, is the perfect balance for that, as well as having that, you know, lively twist flex that we have in the boards. Yeah. Um, so for fins, um, on a two plus one, on a, uh, a day that's kind of like, you know, head high and below, what side fins um, and uh, center fins are you using? So, I have um, in front of me, I have the, the over here with the two plus one setup that we've designed with FCS. Mm -hmm. um, primarily, this is the fin setup that I designed the board um, on and, and used during the prototype space. Um, and it's something that I've just stuck with and absolutely love. Um, they're in the air core technology, so they're super light, and lots of flex. Um, but this is the, the side fins that, that we have are the medium. Um, uh, they're a medium side fin, but actually they've come from a medium shortboard size fin. So they're quite a big side fin. They're not, um, you know, not like your standard GLs or GXs like we used to get as such. Um, so it's a really nice balanced uh, fin. Works good in the, in the performance longboards as well. Um, so primarily I've been using this and in the fun sort of turn, you know, turny, mushy surf, the two plus one feels great. And, and then I go to a quad really when the waves get hollow or more fast, you know, more powerful. Yeah. On the uh, quads, what are you using? So I'm currently riding the AMs in, in, in as a quad. It's been my favorite. I've actually, I started just matching my sides up with a quad rear. That works good as well. Um, but lucky enough to be working with FCS on, on this, on this uh, board. So we've been trying a few out and AM's definitely felt great. I've ridden the H4 quads in it as well. That feels really good. And yeah, also working on some new concepts to hopefully come with the quad um, for next year. So we'll keep you posted on that. So you use the AM's in the front and then your side fins in the back. Well, no, um, oh, I've actually been... The, the AM, I've just been using the actual AM quad set, the full okay. quad set from, from FCS. But I've also been been putting like a quad side or um, some of Luke's small side fins in behind my side fins. So um, keeping them up the front because essentially they're like a medium shortboard fin. So um, it's quite nice that if you have some quad rears, you can you can just stick them in with the FCS sides and, and it works great. I've had guys ask me, or you know, people ask me, can you single fin this? How would it yeah, work? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, 100%. Uh, putting the right fin, I mean, it's it, it lends, this type of shape obviously lends itself towards that style of surfing. And um, as I said, I think that's what's quite quite good about this board is that it does allow you to surf in, in those different types of ways. You know, like if you want to cruise on a single fin, for sure, it's going to feel great. Um, I personally love the two plus one feel um, and you know, the acceleration that I get through, through my turns on this board is, is, is what excites me the most, you know? All oh, right on. Um, so we've got the seven Oh, seven, six and eight Oh, those three That's right. uh, sizes. And by the way, we have demos for all three sizes. So people that are listening to this can cruise by and uh, grab a demo. Um, and it's not a rental program. We're, trying to help guys out that want out that are interested in the board so they come over and demo it. Um, but if you're watching this video, just give us a call or text us. Um, and of course, when you're around, Ben, you can uh, show us how the board really can work here in Hawaii. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but yeah, guys, get down and, and, you know, have a go on David's demos. And um, if you guys, you know, just have a go and feel, 
fill the board. Hopefully you feel what I feel. <laughs> right, right on, Ben. Hey, thank you very much for your time, man. The timing worked out perfect. Cheers, David. Thank you. Thank you.